Well, we have an anomaly in the orchard this morning. Our little peach tree here, yesterday morning, had probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 decent sized little peaches on it. Today it is stripped bare, not a single peach, not one. tree no visible damage to the tree okay so my first thought would be raccoons came and got them but there's not a single broken limb there's none on the ground and our other peach trees all still have peaches on them so sure maybe a raccoon came and just cleaned off that one tree last night it hasn't gotten to these yet but this one has peaches down low to the ground right there that a raccoon could easily reach up and grab but everything up top is still there. This one over here, got a bunch of peaches still on it, unscathed. Now we'll see. Maybe tonight something will come clean them out. I don't know. But I'm wondering, I want to blame a wildlife varmint, but I also kind of want to blame a little kid varmint. Because these are the only ones low enough to the ground that a little kid could reach them. Okay, and the kids know they can come out here and they can pick peaches whenever they want. But I'm not finding any half-eaten peaches on the ground either to make me think that the kids peeled them off, took a bite, and dropped them. They might have peeled them off and then chunked them into the woods because they decided they didn't want them. I don't know. Caroline says she didn't do it. You didn't do it? No. No? Okay. Caroline says she didn't do it. But I'm thinking you know, a deer or a pig could have stood here at this height and eaten these, potentially, and not been able to get the other ones. But I'm just thinking, because this is the tree we always go to with the kids. I always walk them over to that one so they can pick their own peach. It's at the right height. This one here has got a couple on it. They're still pretty green, though. So if it was wildlife, they wouldn't have smelled those. Anymore. And the kids normally come over here after they pick their peaches, they come over here and play on this dirt pile. Now, I wasn't home all day yesterday. I was working on working. So if the kids did come and pick all the peaches, I wouldn't know. And I really wouldn't care. If they, if they came out here and they stripped that tree clean and they ate them all, I'm thrilled, by the way. <laughs> if that's what happened. If a varmint came and got them, well, oh well. You know, my, my philosophy in gardening and growing any produce is basically you got to have enough for the wildlife which I have never so far this is going you know year two that we're in now never seen any sign of deer hog squirrel rabbit any of those things actually in the garden there's a rabbit I've seen out by the bee yard lives out there I see squirrels every now and then up in the trees still have yet to ever see a deer anywhere you know in my clearing or in around the garden um they're around here but very few actually on our property that i know of. and of course plenty of hogs but they're always you know only out at night anyway i don't know what came and stole all the peaches i'll have to ask the other kids and see if anybody will fess up to it it just seems a little odd like i said it's an anomaly that one tree is stripped completely 100 percent clean and all the other trees look like they haven't been touched. I can't find any tracks, which we haven't had any rain lately. So I was looking for just maybe a scuff in the dirt, the chance animal track. I'm not seeing that either. Nothing fresh, no broken vegetation. 